Hi there! In this video, we will take a look at the custom actions and how to configure them. By default, you will notice that all of the custom action buttons are disabled. This is because we have to configure them. So, to do that, we first have to open the custom actions editor from the settings panel. As you can see, here we have 10 slots, one for each custom action. Now we'll set up one of each type. First of all, we'll set the first custom action to add a sharpen filter, so we write a short description. And then set the text to sharpen. In this case, we won't change the search type as it comes set to filter by default. Now, we can follow the same steps to set the second custom action to add a linear gradient generator. But this time, we will change the search type to generator. Now we can save the changes and close the editor. As you can see, nothing happened. This is because we have to manually refresh SPGhost by pressing Alt F11. Ok, so now we have our two custom actions here. We can test it by clicking on the buttons or using their assigned hotkeys. Nice! So now we'll set up the third custom action to select the brush. First, I will look for the brush that I want in the shelf. Ok, so I will use the concrete light. Now we can try to find it manually to see which text do we have to use in order to get it as the first search result. Then we can copy this text and paste it into the text of the third custom action slot. Add a description. and set the type to brush. Done. Now we can save the changes, close the editor, and refresh. So here we have our third custom action that will allow us to quickly switch to this brush. Note that each custom action will have a different color depending on the type of the asset that it's going to add or select. And that's everything regarding the custom actions configuration. Thank you so much and see you next time.